This video is about Requiem by Antonin Dvorak. I explain the most important facts about the work and the composer. Antonin Dvorak was born on September 8, 1841, in Nelohozovs, Bohemia. He showed great musical talent as a child and learned the violin and piano. He later studied music in Prague and became a well-known composer. Dvorak became famous above all for his symphonies, concertos, and chamber music. He died in Prague on May 1, 1904. Dvorak's style developed over time and was strongly influenced by Bohemian folk music. He combined traditional forms with elements of folk music, creating a unique musical language. His music is characterized by catchy melodies, lively rhythms, and colorful orchestration. He was also inspired by other composers such as Brahms and Beethoven. Over time, his style became increasingly mature and individual. Dvorak composed his Requiem in B-flat minor, op. 89, in 1890, which was commissioned by the Birmingham Music Festival in England. The premiere took place in Birmingham in 1891 and was a great success. The Requiem is one of Dvorak's most important sacred works. It shows his deep religiousness and his ability to master large musical forms. The Requiem consists of two parts, with a total of 13 movements. The first part contains the movements Introitus, Kyrie, Gradual, Dies Irae, and Tuba Mirum. The second part begins with Quid Sum Miser and ends with Agnes Day. Each movement has its own character and conveys a particular mood. The structure corresponds to the traditional form of the Catholic Requiem Mass. The text of the Requiem comes from the Catholic liturgy and is written in Latin. It begins with the Introitus, a prayer for the deceased. The Dies Irae describes the Day of Judgment. The Agnes Day asks for peace for the deceased. Dvorak set this text to music in a deeply moving and powerful way. The Requiem is written for choir, for soloists, and orchestra. Dvorak uses strings, woodwinds, brass, timpani, and organ. The orchestration is rich and detailed, giving the music a great sonority. The choir plays a central role and is often supported by the soloists. The music is alternately powerful and lyrical. The Requiem is characterized by its powerful and solemn character. It contains many triumphant and majestic passages. At the same time, there are also quiet and reflective moments. The music conveys a feeling of grandeur and spirituality. This mixture makes the work unique and impressive. The Requiem is considered one of the most important sacred works of the 19th century. It demonstrates Dvorak's ability to master great musical forms. Many critics regard it as the pinnacle of his oeuvre. It is often performed and appreciated in concerts. Its influence on sacred music can still be felt today. Antonin Dvorak left behind a rich musical legacy. His Requiem is just one part of it, but a particularly important one. He had a decisive influence on the Romantic music of the 19th century. His works are still performed and appreciated worldwide. Dvorak remains a symbol of the connection between spirituality and music.